What's going on, everybody? I'm gonna keep that in there. What's going on, everybody? My name is Eli, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a different kind of video. I'm sure you all can tell by the title. I'll be doing an unboxing video of my new MacBook Pro. It's ironic that I'm doing an unboxing video already, um, especially since I literally just made a video about the essential technology that I use in dental school. And I told y'all about this MacBook that I use very often. Um, but if you watched the most recent vlog that I did where I actually went to the store and got this MacBook, I was kind of explaining why I decided to upgrade, but I'll give y'all a quick little spiel in this video as well. So before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, my name is Eli, I'm a second year dental student at Boston University, Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. And on this channel, I make vlogs with my dental school journey as well as videos. With, with advice for pre-dental students who are looking to get to the next level. So if you enjoy the video and enjoy the channel, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment under the video, share the channel with anyone else you may find it interesting. I know this is kind of a different kind of video that you probably won't usually see on my channel, but if you want to support, if you just like the videography, etc., definitely subscribe. You'll love the channel. I upload every week. It's great. Now let's get into the video. So, before we get into the unboxing, just a few things. One, for some reason I've always wanted to do an unboxing video. I remember like when I was a kid and like the iPod Touch first came out, I used to watch unboxing videos all the time and like the iPhones and all that stuff. Like something about unboxing an Apple product is just like so great. Like their packaging is great. Peeling the little plastic off of the iPhone or the Mac, like everything about it is great. It's been five years since I've taken a Mac out of a box, but I wanted to do a video on it just because it was something that I used to be interested in, kind of still interested in it, but I just wanted to make a video, so I figured why not. Also, the reason I decided to upgrade from this 2017 MacBook Pro to the 20, I believe this is a 2021 MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip in it, for a few different things. So essentially, when I got this MacBook Pro, it was kind of just for school. Uh, 256 gigabyte hard drive, it runs well. This Mac is actually from before they even added the M1 chip. So it's a little bit different than how the Macs are now. But I decided to upgrade for a few reasons. So as you all know, I started doing YouTube, video editing and things like that. The functionality of what I needed my MacBook for has changed drastically since I bought this one in 2017. So when I found out that they had a new MacBook Pro with a one terabyte hard drive, it had an SD card, an SD card slot straight on the side, um, it had extended battery life, it was really kind of a no brainer for me. Um, and we can talk about more of the specs when I actually unbox it. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a reason why I decided to upgrade because this computer is definitely perfectly good and I actually am selling it. Well, it's sold, but I'm waiting to ship it. Um, and you know, this computer one runs fine. I love that MacBooks last a really long time. My first MacBook lasted me four years. This one has been five years and counting. And you know, I'm upgrading to a new one and I'll have this one for at least four or five years as well. So without further ado, let's get to the fun stuff. So I'm gonna put this MacBook to the side. right here so let's see this is what I love about Apple usually I would have to grab like a knife or a key or something and go in this little ridge or whatever but now they make it so easy for you they add a little tab that you can just pull it up let's 
Take the plastic off. Everybody with an Apple product knows this is probably one of the best parts. I love that stuff. And here you have it. So we'll put this to the side for a second. Let's see what comes in here. So you got the MagSafe, um, the MagSafe charging uh, cord, which is, you know, they switch. They still have USB-C on one side, but it's not like this MacBook that is like USB-C to the MacBook, USB-C to the charger. Um, the Mac I got is one terabyte and I'm pretty sure it has fast charging. Um, it has more wattage in the power block than the 512 gigabyte model. I think that one had like 60 something. I know this one has like 90 something. So pretty sure I got fast charging on there. Got a little manual that, you know, of course, you know, they, oh, black Apple stickers. I know this one came with white ones. Uh, every Mac I've ever gotten came with white Apple stickers. So this is new, black Apple stickers. I never use them, but I always check and make sure they're there. You know, you got the manual in here. And this is all it comes with now. It's kind of thick. Of course I've got it, but um, yeah. That comes in there. And then you got the power block, 90 something watts, like I mentioned. It's pretty heavy. Um, actually, I lied, this is probably like the same. No, this is this is definitely heavier than the power block that I have for, for this 2017 back right here. Um, all that stuff we're gonna put back in and we're gonna move on to what we can't see, which is the MacBook. So, First things first, when I walked into the Apple store, um, and this is the thing, I mentioned this on the vlog, but for whatever reason, they don't let you record in the Apple store, like with a camera. You can kind of sneak a little bit on your phone, but they don't let you record the camera. So when I first walked into the Apple store and I looked at these Macs, I'm not gonna lie, I hated this, this shape. They changed the shape from these 2017 ones and I'll eventually do like a close-up but you can see even before I take the wrapping off the difference in thickness of these two obviously my 20 hold on, there we go my 2017 one is 13 inch this one's 14 inch so it's a little bit bigger screen but you can see the thickness if I put my iPhone on top of my 13 inch one my old one it doesn't just run smoothly. The new one is a little bit thicker. Um, on top of all of that, I thought that my current MacBook was a little more sleek. Um, regardless of the like how thin it is, the feel of it is just like a little more sleek. It feels, it just feels better in your hands, in my opinion. Whereas with the new one, they kind of went back to like that blocky kind of design, like how the old Macs are. Um, it's definitely gonna take me some getting used to, but you know, change is good sometimes. So um, I probably wouldn't hate it as much if I didn't have this sleek one. And I don't, that's, it's growing on me now. I definitely hated it when I first saw it in the store. Like I walked in the store and I closed, I, I was playing with the laptop, I closed it, I picked it up and I said, you know what, I don't want this anymore. And I was looking at the silver model, so I was like, you know what, let me, let me wait until I see the, space gray model, because I know I'm not buying the silver one, but I really was not a fan of the look. And when I was talking to the associate, I was telling him over and over how much I did not like this look. But now that I, you know, now that I bought it, I love it. Let's put it that way. So let's take it out of this little plastic sleeve. You know, Apple always gotta put things real nicely for me. It has MacBook Pro on the back of it now, whereas this one, you know, didn't really have anything. Um, still those same, that same writing like design by Apple, California, um, assembled in China, so uh, let me move this out of the way. OK, 
Okay, so already told y'all about the design. Still very, it's still very sleek. It's, it's, it's nice. It's just not like the 2017 MacBook Pro with the touch bar. So you open it up. You know, they make that nice little sound when you start it up. Let's take this plastic off the screen. I can give y'all a little side-by-side -side comparison right now. Um, obviously, a few different things. Ooh. So, they did away with the touch bar now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I rarely use the touch bar on my 13 inch. It was nice to have, it was nice to, you know, play with a little bit, but I like how, you know, they got these regular volume up, volume down, mute buttons. I like that. Let's keep it simple. Half the time, the touch bar doesn't even work the way that you want it to. I used to try to force myself to use the emojis on the touch bar when I was texting on my laptop. It's super hard to find the emojis. So it just, after a while, it just kind of became, you know, obsolete and I didn't really use it much. But when I first bought this one, I decided to get the one with the touch bar because, you know, Apple's always rolling out updates, coming out with new stuff. And I was like, you know, you never know if Apple will come out with an update to, you know, with something that makes the touch bar a little cooler. Like, you just never know. So I was like, let me just get it. If I don't get it, one day I might regret it. Let's just do it. And I will say that I can see why Apple decided to do away with the touch bar. It's kind of pointless. So, um, like I said, you can kind of see the size difference when you open it up to bigger screen on this one. The base is bigger. Um, trackpad is about the same size. Speakers are bigger. Keyboard's bigger. Um, keyboard also feels different. It's not like the old ones where you can get like grease all over it and it starts looking different. It starts kind of looking a little ugly, but we're gonna close the old one now because we're out with the old and we're in with the new. So I can't really do like a walkthrough of the new one because number one, I gotta transfer all my stuff from this to this and I gotta put everything on my external hard drive, back it up, etc. But just off the first look, I know y'all can see when I compared them before, the little rim on the outside is smaller, so that's why even though the screen is a whole inch bigger, it's not that much of a bigger laptop. Um, still got Touch ID. Uh, they're gonna ask me to do like the setup and stuff. English. You know, they're gonna go through all that stuff. I don't really know if I'm gonna do that on camera right now, but I did wanna get to a screen that's more white so you can see the uh, difference in the displays of both Macs. Um, let's see. Not gonna set up Wi-Fi right now. It's probably gonna ask me to sign to my Apple ID and stuff, but I don't know if I have time to do all that. So something that's kind of cool that I never really noticed when I was at the store, when, this, when the background isn't like completely white or when it's dark at the top, you don't see the notch, but they do have a little notch like kind of how your phone does with the webcam on there, etc. cetera. Um, and it like drops down right in the middle of the, the um, top of the screen. But when the background is dark at the top like this, you can't even tell, so I never really realized that. Um, So I don't wanna go past this screen because it asks about transferring your information and I am definitely going to do that with my external hard drive from this laptop. But if there's a way that I could drag this up, I can. Um, maybe, no, you're just not gonna be able to see the notch. And that's okay. Um, but yeah. First thoughts about this laptop, I like it. I mean, it, it like I said, it's gonna take me some adjusting to get used to this shape, but you still have three USB-C ports. Um, you can still charge this with a USB-C charger if you want. I 
am not going to have one anymore because I'm selling it with this lap. Well, I'm not selling it, but when I sell this laptop, I'm giving them the USB-C charger as well. You got the MagSafe uh, port for the power adapter. For whatever reason, they keep including this old headphone jack. I mean, it's handy, it will come in handy, but I mean, we're now in a day and age where they tried to force AirPods on us so much. <laughs> we're now in a day and age where they tried to force AirPods on us so much, they changed the, the headphone jack from the iPhone I don't know why they keep including it on the laptop, but whatever. So, like I mentioned before, a big reason that I wanted to switch this USB port, I mean, this SD card port right here. When I was editing on this laptop, you have four USB-C ports and that's it. You have, basically you have to buy an adapter. My adapter had two regular USB ports on it an HDMI port and an SD card slide. And I don't think it had a micro SD, but that's what it had. So whenever I wanted to plug my SD card from my camera into my computer, I had to grab the adapter and plug it in. Wasn't that, it wasn't that much of an inconvenience. You know, you grab the adapter, put things on your computer real quick, take it out, whatever, do everything on your computer. Then I started to run into an, another issue. When I wanted to record a uh, week in the life or when I want to record a 4k video and I started running into the issue where the, vi the video that I was filming would end up being 40 or 50 gigabytes in size and I had a 256 gigabyte laptop 80 gigabytes are already occupied by the random stuff that Apple puts on your computer when you first buy it you have another 30 gigabytes being taken up by your messages 30 taken up by your phone Etc. Etc. You come. It comes to a point where you only have maybe, if you keep your computer super clean, you have probably like a hundred gigabytes to play with. If fifty gigabytes are being taken up by footage that I use to film, once I put it into the editing software, they start making render files, etc. Etc. I can't even edit my video because my computer will start running so slow. Or I can edit my video and I get all the way to the end of editing my video and I don't have enough space on my computer to export it. So then what I started doing was putting everything from my SD card onto my external hard drive and then basically opening up a library on my external hard drive in the editing software and editing everything on my external hard drive. But then that turned my laptop into basically a desktop. I had to keep it on a desk so I could keep all the adapters and my SD card plugged in and safe, etc. And then I kind of edit on the go. And that kind of defeats the purpose of having a laptop, doesn't it? So now I have this. I was really excited to get this because now I can take it to the SMBA conference. I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling within the next couple of, well, within the next week, a few flights going to be able to sit down and edit on the flight, um, going to be able to edit my SNDA vlog while I'm at SNDA. It's going to be great. So be on the lookout for that, of course. Um, I definitely look forward to getting some use out of this new laptop. Um, I'm glad that I got it. It was definitely expensive, but it was worth it. Um, I'm glad that someone else is going to be able to put this baby to good use because it's still in really good condition. The battery is still in good condition. It runs well. It's perfect for probably anyone that does not edit videos. Even someone that edits basic videos is probably still perfect. But for me, it was time for me to move on and I'm going to miss this one. But it's never the right time to say goodbye. So. That's all I have for the Mac unboxing video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I remember Apple used to put a lot more plastic in that stuff. So it used to be a little more of an ASMR type of thing, but I guess now in 2022 with global warming and all that stuff, Apple's not trying to put any unnecessary plastic in their boxes anymore, which I understand. But I hope you all enjoyed the unboxing video anyway. I look forward to using this new laptop to bring you all more quality content, more content in general, and 
for a better experience when I'm editing vlogs. So, thank you all for watching. If you watched all the way through this video, I know you guys are kind of interested in the technology that I use for demo school, considering you guys really seem to enjoy that video. There's a lot of likes and a lot of views. Um, it's only like a week old, but it did really well when I first put it out. So, so all you guys are interested in technology that I use for demo school. This is something that I use for not only school, but obviously for editing and content creation and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I hope the video was enjoyable. And if you stuck around to watch to the end, thank you so much. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.